So how many miles of range am I going to lose if I leave cabin overheat protection and sentry mode on on this Tesla Model 3 while I'm at work and the car is sitting in the parking lot for over eight hours? I'm going to investigate Phantom Drain. Uh, and again, I'm not even sure if I'm using that term right. Uh, how much power does the car lose while it's idling? That's probably a better and more accurate term. Uh, I've got a couple of days here in Texas where um, the temperature's gonna be about identical for two days. We're gonna have highs around 85 degrees Fahrenheit and lows in the upper 60s in, in Fahrenheit as well for, the, for today and for tomorrow. And I already started this test this morning, but I didn't have the sunlight to shoot the introduction, so we'll continue on. Uh, I'm going to drive to work today, leave the car sitting in the parking lot with cabin overheat protection and sentry mode on. Uh, my commute is well within the vehicle's range, so when I'm done with the test, that's how I'm going to go back to configuring the car anyway. But just so that I have an idea of how much power I'm using by having the car keep the temperature inside the vehicle under 100 degrees. Uh, I have the cabin overheat protection set at 100 degrees and I keep sentry mode on. So exactly how much power am I going to use? I'm going to uh, I'm going to document uh, my starting percentage, my starting projected range, where I am at work, where I am when I leave work and how much, how much range I've lost, and uh, then how much I've got when I get home. And then tomorrow I'll do the whole thing again for a true comparison and then wrap it all up at the end of the video. Let's start the test. So I am leaving for work on Tuesday morning. This is day one of the test. I'm just gonna show you the initial stats. Right now we have 258 miles of projected range at a 100% state of charge. Right now since charge, no miles, no kilowatt hours, no watt hours per mile. Today, I'm going to be leaving cabin overheat protection on and sentry mode on. I'll update you when I get to the end of my work commute uh, to show you how much of the projected miles I used. And I'll get some other footage when it's, you know, a little brighter outside. <laughs> I'm pretty much at work, just around the corner, and I'm gonna give you a report on the drive. So let's take a look at the stats on the screen. We've gone 27 miles, used six kilowatt hours at an average efficiency of 219 watt hours per mile. We have 232 miles of predicted range. We're at 90% battery uh, state of charge, 90% state of charge. 232 miles, that it means that we've used 26 miles of projected range to go 27 miles. So that's fairly accurate. Now the car is gonna be sitting in a parking lot for a few hours, take about a four mile round trip to another location in the middle of the workday, and then sit in the parking lot for about another a few hours and we'll see how much uh, battery and how much range I lose with cabin overheat protection on and sentry mode on. It's supposed to be mid 80s today, like a high temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So the cabin overheat will for sure kick on and we'll see how much I lose with the car parked in what some might call phantom drain. End of the workday, so kind of the halfway point on this experiment for day one or the quarter point of the experiment. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, we are at 213 miles now of projected range, but since the charge, 34 miles and eight kilowatt hours. And that means that I drove an additional seven miles already while I was at work. So uh, 34 plus 214 puts me at 248. That means I've lost about 10 miles of range today. It is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. 85 degrees Fahrenheit was the forecast high for today. Um, and I think if my math is right, yeah, 240, that's 247. Uh, I've lost 11 miles of range today uh, due to 
the cabin overheat, which I did get a notification that it kicked on a couple of times. I'm gonna drive home and see uh, if that 11 miles holds. And uh, then we're gonna do this whole thing again tomorrow, but we're gonna turn sentry mode off and we're gonna turn cabin overheat protection off. But first, this will give us a baseline. And I'm home. So let's take a look at our stats for uh, this total round trip commute to work. We have driven 61 miles. We used 14 kilowatt hours of energy, an average efficiency of 227 watt hours per mile. Our range projection is at 184 miles and our battery state of charge is 71%. So 184 miles of projected range with 61 miles driven. If I add 184 to 61, and I've got to do this in my head because my hand's on the camera, uh, that is 245 miles. When I left this morning, I had a projected range of 258. That means 13 miles went poof. And really it was 14 miles that went poof because when I got to work, I had that, I used one um, less mile of projected range than I'd actually driven. So, but I'll stick with the, with the projection of 13 miles uh, that disappeared. When I left work, it was at 11 uh, miles that I lost due to phantom drain and two miles of range just for the difference of the uh, drive back. Full disclosure, when I leave in the morning, the car is plugged into shore power. It's plugged into my level two uh, charger at home and the car is programmed to be preconditioned uh, for both the battery and the, uh, and the cabin uh, for a scheduled departure time. So uh, the, the car didn't have to work to get itself ready to go on its own power. It was still plugged in this morning. So that, that might account for the difference of that two miles of range lost uh, on the drive home. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna turn off cabin overheat protection. We're gonna turn off sentry mode and we're gonna see if I get home uh, with that same number of 13 miles that went poof while the car was just sitting. And it will be tomorrow. Now, it is the next day now. And I'm actually going to back up to where I was when I left at the house where I don't have the best lighting. So here we are for day two. I'm gonna to try to get my face a little bit more in the light. Sorry about yesterday. Uh, so let's take a look at the stats before we go. Again, we are at 258 miles projected range and 100% state of charge. Uh, everything's at zero on the card. And I'm going to go to safety and scroll all the way, well, not quite all the way down. And I'm gonna to go to cabin overheat protection and I'm gonna turn that off as well uh, and now we're going to see uh, what the what the range is like at the end of the day i'm at 71 degrees fahrenheit uh, before we go and i'm gonna go to work now <laughs> So I can't get to the exact same parking space I was in yesterday, there's a car there. Uh, but I am just around the corner from work again and let's take a look at the stats from this morning's commute. We drove, well I should say I drove, uh, 27 miles used five kilowatt hours for an average efficiency of 203 watt hours per mile. We are at 90% state of charge. We've got 233 miles of predicted range. That means we use 25 miles of predicted range for 27 miles of driving. So that's a little bit better than yesterday. Uh, probably, I can't really say exactly why. I mean, there was a little bit of sprinkles yesterday, but that shouldn't have 
cost me uh, made a difference of a mile. Uh, but now I've got cabin overheat protection turned off. I've got sentry mode turned off. It's supposed to be the same temperature by the time the afternoon comes of around 85, 86 today. So uh, we shall see how much of this range I have left uh, when I leave work at the end of the day. I still have that uh, little jaunt I have to do in the middle of the day of about seven miles. I got in the car at the midpoint of my day for when I have to drive across town and man, it was a lot hotter, but I noticed that I forgot to turn, I didn't turn sentry mode off correctly, which I did just now. I have lost some range. I've got 226 miles of projected range and I've driven 28, which means that adds up to 254. Um, and I started with 258, so I've lost four miles of projected range and really i had gained two miles of projected range based off of this morning's driving so i've lost six and my day is only halfway over i'm wondering if that's because i didn't get sentry mode turned off the correct way i have sentry mode turned off the correct way now so i'm going to check back at the end of the lunch, at the end of the work day and see if i lose more now that sentry mode is fully turned off and cabin overheat is turned off but Oh man, it was a lot hotter in the car when I got into it at first. The work day is over. I'm gonna take a look at the current stats and then start to drive home. We're at 215 miles projected range. We've driven 34 miles today using eight kilowatt hours, 236 watt hours per mile. 34 miles plus 215 miles is 349. So at this point yesterday, I had had 11 miles of range that had gone poof. Today, it's nine miles of range that have gone poof, um, which is not much. And it's a very warm in the car when I got into it. You can see on the thermometer uh, estimation, it says it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit, which is basically exactly what it was yesterday at this time. So I'm gonna drive home and see if uh, it works out. Well, I'm home at the end of the second day, and well, let me just show you the stats. You can see there on the card, 61 miles of driving using 14 kilowatt hours of power, which is uh, the same as yesterday. Now, of course, there's no decimals in there, so I don't know how quite accurate it is, but look at the efficiency number, 235 watt hours per mile for the total drive. That number is not as good as the number that I had yesterday. Now let's take a look at the range and, and battery. Right now we have a 72% state of charge, which is one more percent than we had yesterday. But we're showing 185 miles of predicted range remaining. 185 plus 61, is gonna take me to 246 miles of predicted range, uh, down from what I had this morning at 100% of 258. That means today, 12 miles went poof. Yesterday, when I had cabin overheat protection on and sentry mode on for the whole day, 13 miles went poof. Now today, I messed up on turning off the sentry mode. Sentry mode was still on for half of the day, but I got it turned off. But cabin overheat protection was off all day long. And the difference, at least with high temperatures in the mid 80s, around 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, is one mile of having uh, the uh, cabin overheat protection on or off. And it's the same kilowatt hour number. Uh, the only thing that I can guess is that the climate control had to work so much harder because of how noticeably hot the cabin was when I got in it. Uh, when I when I did my midday drive and then when I got in it to drive home, it was noticeably hotter in here. Um, and the AC just really had to crank and it may have used extra power because of how much more it had to be on. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't think necessarily that this is going to be a definitive test. Um, 
I, I'm not going to claim it's a definitive test. I don't even think it's a definitive test. I think I need to do this test again. I can't do a third day in a row because the weather's about to change for tomorrow uh, and a cold front's going to come in. And in about a month's time, instead of mid 80s, we'll be dealing with temperatures in the low 90s to mid 90s for highs. And so that I'll, I'll try this test again in about a month's time and, and see if the results come out the same. Uh, but right now I can say that for a difference of one mile of predicted range, I am definitely turning the cabin overheat protection on. Uh, yes, sentry mode wasn't completely off today, but cabin overheat protection was. Cabin overheat protection, if you're not familiar with that feature on a Tesla, is how the car will regulate the temperature inside the car when you're not in it, when it's, when it's not running. And yesterday it was on to prevent the car from ever getting warmer than 100 degrees inside. Today that was off and it got considerably hotter than 100 degrees in here, probably because, you know, big glass roof. Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, that's, those are the numbers that I've got, that I got. Uh, I'm not satisfied that that's definitive and I'm going to run this test again in a month and I've said that before and I won't necessarily repeat it. If you found this interesting, uh, I won't repeat it again, how's that? If you found this video interesting, please uh, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment with some of your um, experiences, especially with cabin overheat protection and any kind of phantom drain on these Teslas. I'm still learning this car. Um, but uh, we'll do the test again, so subscribe so, you make sure you're sure to see when it pops up. Thank you very much for watching.